Oh my god. What the hell, Serene? I think he's Calm dead! Calm down, Prince. We can make it look like an accident. Or even get rid of the body. Are you kidding me? He would have told the administration. I would be out of a job, and your scholarship gone. I... I just reacted. You're right. Yeah. Let's uh, figure out what to do with the body and clean this up fast. Hey, Brent. Hey, Miss Fisher. Have you guys seen Lendl? Nah. Sorry, bro. I've been looking everywhere for him. I thought I'd find him at the library or the gym. Damn. Anything and you forced my hand. So now we're in this situation. I wish we could figure something else out. Because this is sus. I do enjoy being with you. I wish you could do this all the time. Same way you wish you could with all those other girls you've used and abused. Girl, what are you saying? Someone's in here! I don't want to hear any more of your silver tongued lies, Ray. We know all about the women whose emotions you played with and lied to. The Ambers, Greta, myself, even Finelli, and you know she's with CJ. Please. I want me the more I want you. You used your power to pry and control these young women and seduce them. So now, you're gonna get your just desserts. Bro, what do you say? You... Because if you got into any more trouble, I knew you'd be expelled. And I can't let that happen. My dad's gonna be upset, but it's gonna be okay. Thanks. Russ, step into my office. And with that bell, our lives we knew had ended as it signified we were about to enter into a scarier and unknown chapter of the story. We each had dark secrets that others in the group didn't know about. And secrets we wanted to make sure never got out, no matter the cost. Time running out, we needed to make sure our secrets stayed in the dark. Never coming to light. This was the end of our lunch recess break. And the beginning of something entirely foreign to us all.